Hello everyone, thanks for joining me this week on Life on the Holes. I'm just going to leave a bit of a montage of the uh, deck demolding event that occurred in the last two videos. So if you haven't already seen it and uh, you want to see how these parts are produced, there's a full range of videos uh, going way back as to how I've actually produced this deck and then finally demolded it, lifted into place and then uh, I've left it resting 50 centimetres above the hull that we demolded back in December. So if you go back through that series, there's plenty of video of all of this event. I'm very, very fortunate to have been able to video all this. So I've got this as a great memento for myself and obviously for you guys out there on YouTube. Now, I thought I'd take a bit of a rest once I got this deck in place. The lead up to it had been quite intense and, uh, and I did actually take a couple of days off immediately following this because I just couldn't think about it anymore. I got to the point that I was just that uh, that uh, overwhelmed and I think it showed in the video how the stress did actually build up. But certainly when I got back to it, I thought oh, I might just ease back into it. There was none of that. So that's what I'm going to start off. Let's get into it. Wow, that was a big day. Huh. Um, I've had a couple of days off because I was just smashed after that massive morning on Friday. Now I watched the weather forecast for two weeks prior to the whole thing happening and I was picking windows all the time and I had a booking and uh, as it panned out seven days out, I looked at the chart, there was a massive high over us. I thought that's gonna be the day where we're gonna have the least amount of wind. Um, we have had four to five months of just gale force westerly winds and they're the horrible wind and uh, on the morning we had no wind and at 10 o'clock when we lifted it in and sat it down at about uh, 15 minutes later bang 35 knots <laughs> it was all on again so we snuck it in feel like a burglar and here i am inside my cat with the roof elevated at 50 centimeters high above the deck all the way around level all the way around i'm going to spend it today removing the mounts and all the uh the, the hoo-ha that i'm about to put in here to actually get it out of the mold and that includes this pearl in here as you can see i've got it propped up on 44 gallon drums at the back and i've got all these other wooden mounts and jack stands and all these other things that uh, that i'll show you as we go along but the idea now is to is to measure down and find you know a reasonable cutting point so that I can go up and down, up and down, up and down. I'm probably going to do that three or four times over the course of the fitment of this deck. But before I do that, I'm going to make sure that I get rid of all of the mounts uh, over the hatches and certainly the demolding mounts. They're never going to be needed again. And uh, yeah, I'm bloody happy about that. So first things first, I'll get rid of this piece of steel pearl. And I had to get rid of the other one up on the bow um, way into the middle of the process because it was going to sit down on the centre bulk and it was easier just to cut it out and uh, rip it out while the boat was hanging on the crane. So this guy here was important because it actually held the whole sides from flexing in. I wanted everything highly rigid so it was easy to pick up and I, have got, I did have a sticking point as we lifted it out and I'll show you where that is. There's actually a point right on the back lounge where it was a bit about this big and that held the whole, even with four tons of lift. Just unbelievable the effort you have to go to to get the bastards out of the mold. Anyway, so I've cut away the glass here. Uh, did that a bit earlier. Removed the bolts of the holding in place and the extra struts I had on. Got that out, otherwise. If it had been an inch higher, I would have had to go undo the tent, lift the tent up and go through there. Freaking unbelievable. Every single thing has fit by the millimeter on this job. But anyway, that's coming out. And uh, that's one big job getting those guys out. I have just started cutting out the demolding mount down in the starboard head. Far out, what a prick of a job. Um, it's overhead and the oscillating tool is pretty much the only way. I've got this one half cut out, but what a bastard. Um, it's getting dark in here too, so I've got to get some lighting in here. I'm just going to cut one out every day. Every afternoon I'll cut one of these out and uh, work around. You can see here, started to cut this one out. I have to basically butcher it, but I'm almost there. It's uh, 
you know, cut it level with the boat. And I don't want, I can't push it around too much because I don't want to damage the substrate underneath it. Luckily, it's mainly on the hatch there. But what a job, eh? Jesus, noise and just everything overhead. But it's coming. It's just that there was no way those mounts were ever going to lift out while we were lifting with the crane. I mean, I basically had to cut through this for an hour to get that much done. And uh, I was worried about them failing. There's no way they were going to fail. One down, five to go. What Well, it's good to be up on the deck, everyone. It's uh, a bit weird walking around up here. You'll note it's around about a 10 or so feet drop down to the side. Now, I certainly can't put any staunches or anything on the side of the boat at this stage uh, due to the fact that I'm so high up, I'd be penetrating the top of the tent. But once the deck drops down, I certainly hope to get those staunches in place. Now, you notice here I'm actually removing the last of the side window port light inserts that I put in. These inserts were actually held in with plasticine and there was a firm radius around them and they did actually uh, remove when we demolded the deck, most of them came out but there was a couple still remnant uh, at this stage and I, there will be quite a bit of polishing and repairing required at the end around here because obviously plasticine is very hard to get a smooth finish. You get a, a finish that the gel cane won't adhere to but certainly will need a lot of cleaning up. But I will keep hold of these inserts uh, so that I can use them as templates what's going forward. So you can see it's very dirty. Uh, it's gonna need a good stain removal or something. Uh, gel coat sound pretty much all over. There's a couple of little areas of tripe and particularly around where these repairs were made, there's going to be a, quite a bit of restorative work uh, because it was such an old mold. And you know, to be honest, now the repairs are done, the next guy's gonna get a nice clean pull, but uh, not me. <laughs> but anyway, it just needs a good, uh, Dose over with some polish, some 1200 grit, and then some uh, some stain remover. Obviously, uh, star broad or something will get all of this extra stuff off, and uh, you know, just some meticulous work. But I'm up for that. Okay, so access in and out of the boat now is a lot more challenging. I'm coming in through the rear cabin here, and uh, yeah, it's going to be a bit, bit hard on the old body for a few weeks. Now what I've done is I've actually got two of the jacks off the truck downstairs and these hydraulic rams are going to form the basis on my ability to be able to lift this deck up and down to create a match to the hull. Now I've already prepared some jack stands as I showed you earlier and they're actually going to fit up in the front of the, uh, of the forward cabins up on the beds 
and essentially it'll be able, I'll be able to lift it up and down up to 60 centimetres and that we're at 50 centimetres high. So that means I can actually drop the whole thing down to uh, where it should mate on the actual hull. So that's a pretty good process. But uh, I'm not going to go and buy new jacks. I'll just use the ones off the truck. The truck is sitting down level on the ground as we speak. Continuing on with the demolding mount removal, these ones here, rather than try to cut them out with the oscillating tool, I'm just going to cut it out with a saw and, uh, and then just basically get rid of the last stump at the end. Yesterday was just, uh, like last night, it was probably about one of the hardest things I've had to do in this job, just holding it above my head for two hours, cutting out that mount, and I've still got six to do. So I'm just going for the easy way out. I'll get up on the deck itself and saw this out and, uh, and at least that way it'll be gone and then I can just deal with the, the excess but the important thing is I get these jacks in place and uh, really make sure that I've got this support. Cut up here and I'll just cut it there and cut it there and at least it's out of the way and I don't have to think about it then and uh, from there I can basically uh, start to jack up and down once I remove all the other mounts. So it's a bloody long walk all the way around the deck. <laughs> Better get used to it, eh? Especially when you forget something. There's no safety up here at the moment, so... As you can see there, I've filled that one in. I've already got that one sorted. This one here, I'll get this mount completed. A lot of cleanup to be done up here. This, uh, yeah, the mold has left a fair bit of residue on it. It's gonna need a lot of cleaning, but now that'll come off later on. I'll just have to work on that at a later date. I just don't have the time to do that right now. All right, I've almost got these forward cabin mounts out. It's been a bit of a, bit of a dick around to, uh, to get them out, but I've just got to knock this one out. That one actually tore off. Um, that was only an upward pulling one, it wasn't one that I was actually pulling up on, but I'm glad I didn't have to rely on it to demold the uh, the deck. But anyway, it was always a backup, but I'll uh, just knock this out and we'll be done. Now I left the peel ply deliberately on the roof here because I knew we'd be walking around a lot more there than anywhere else when we're demolding it. But now I'm going to rip it off and uh, clean it all up. I think I might go and get a respirator on. Notice while I was pulling off the peel ply there, the roof of the saloon actually has two 330 millimeter square opening hatches. Now these hatches open forward, obviously to allow ventilation into the saloon. However, on the way, you'd probably want to have those shut, obviously if you don't want water coming in through the roof or the like. But I decided to open up most of the hatches on the boat and for good reason and that is firstly to let the airflow into the boat and secondly to allow for some extra light you will notice while i was videoing earlier on uh, whilst the roof was in place how dark it is and even during the day without these hatches open it's actually quite dark in there so now by opening this up and i'll work on uh, some other areas later in the video and certainly in the coming weeks i'll be opening up all of the hatches it does create a bit of a safety issue but for now i was able to hang an led light from that um, as well
to say these window inserts were a success would be an understatement. It's all worked out really, really well. Uh, as you can see, the green um, holes were the, where it was bolted to the actual um, uh, insert that I put in. Now, what I'm going to do on each of the windows, just like I've done over here, I'm actually going to do a temporary cut which is smaller than the existing window will be. I'll generally be around about 20 or 30 millimeters around the outside, but I'll, I'll basically cut it where the black line is here. That'll let some light in, give me a little bit of a nicer environment to work in. Got some undersized windows cut out and the airflow was instant. <laughs> I'm pretty happy with that. But yeah, they look pretty good. It's gonna give me a whole lot more light through the day. Um, you know, that probably one of the last things I put into the windows. I'm pretty happy just having the tent to uh, to give me the, 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 uh, the shelter and I can start working on those window inserts later on. That's not really a big deal at the moment. I've got a lot, lot more to do.